let you in. We can vote you out. Angry parents demanding answers from Cobb County school officials. At issue, a racist threat promising to exterminate black people with mass genocide. The profanity-laced Snapchat message was pa passed around recently at North Cobb High School. Parents demanding more time at tonight's school board meeting to talk about the safety of their children. The board ended up giving them an extra minute, but parents say that's all they did because they didn't take action. FOX 5 was the only station in the Cobb County for tonight's meeting, and that's where we find FOX 5's Nathalie Pozo. Nathalie? Well, Tom, the Cobb County superintendent did open up tonight's meeting by saying that the district's top priority is the safety of all children, but the parents who packed the meeting here don't believe that to be the case. They tell me they are seriously offended by this post and feel the school board is not taking it seriously. And we hope that you all will look further into this so that we don't have another Columbine on our hands. Cobb County parents say they fear for the safety and the lives of their children. After a post on social media, school officials say a student at North Cobb High School posted. Parents believe the school district took the post too lightly. It's not a black or a white thing. It is a safety thing for all children at North Cobb High School. In the tirade flooded with profanity and the N-word, the male student referred to pulling a Hitler and exterminating black people with a mass genocide. At the Cobb County School Board meeting Thursday, one parent read the post, as she says, so the board could hear it out loud and understand why parents are so troubled about it. We were told it's not a threat, not a specific threat. That, that's just ridiculous. Parents say the notification they received from the school was vague and they're still waiting on answers as to what, if any, action the school has taken. Like now, what's going on in this school? And then what is the resolution to this problem? And they wouldn't talk to us because of privacy. Members of the NAACP and SCLC attended the meeting saying they will be there all the way with these parents. And we will do what is necessary to make sure that the board attends to them and respects them. And one school board member after the public comment portion did say that because of the way it works, they can't engage in a conversation, but he did say that he heard what the parents were saying. I did ask a school spokesperson here tonight if any disciplinary action has been taken. She could not comment on that, only to say it's an ongoing investigation. Reporting live tonight in Cobb County, Nathalie Pozo, Fox 5 News. Nathalie, thanks. Developing tonight.